Around a million more children in England should be eligible for free school meals and would benefit from a hot meal a day. That's according to a leading food charity. The Food Foundation says there's an urgent need to expand the criteria of who qualifies by raising the earnings threshold to £20,000 a year before benefits. Our education correspondent Elaine Dunkley reports. You feel like you're a failure, you're not a failure. Because I run a garden company, so my business has lost nearly 150 customers through COVID. I've lost about £18,000 this year. Steve worries about putting food on the table for his three children. He also worries about feeding dozens of families across Staley Bridge. He set up this food bank to help others. Hi, Andrew, okay, well. These are people who've worked and they've been on furlough, you know, gas going up, food going up, everything's going up and the wages aren't going up. There's more working families come here than there is people not working. And that's what I'd, I thought I'd, I'd never see. I, I need to get more food. I need really I've not got the food to sustain this. Now we've got two tins of potatoes. I need 80 tins of potatoes this week. So, yeah, I, I do worry. We had a good day. I wish we live week by week, you know, and I, I might have a pound left in my purse at the end of the week. You need it on its cold, sweetheart. Colette is a mum of two and works full time. She doesn't qualify for free school meals because she earns above the eligibility threshold of £7,400 a year. Going to a food bank, it, it's not nice. It's scary. Food's going up and it's all right when it's just like 20, 30p at that time. But when you work it out over the week or the month, it, it turns into pounds. I'll go to the corner shop. My youngest, he has like a little pot with, with his coins and he'll say, wait, mummy, I'm just getting some money. And he'll bring it down, I'll get this from me, because you haven't got much money and you work hard, I'll get it out of my money. And it's so upsetting. Another day and Steve has more deliveries. It's going to Bolton Vale. I've got um, a food bank in there with Debbie, their teacher. He's also set up food banks in four primaries, which mainly help the families who don't get free school meals but are running low on food. There's lots of families who don't have much, so we really want to help them. This head teacher wants the eligibility threshold expanded to include more children and says schools are struggling to provide a safety net to help working families. So in an evening, usually at around 8 o'clock, myself and several other local head teachers go to collect uh, the food for the children. Teachers are spending their own money on food, they're topping up the food banks. The challenges are significant. The government says it's expanded access to free school meals more than any other government in recent decades. And there are currently over 1.7 million pupils in England that receive a nutritious free school meal through the benefits-related criteria. But food charities are warning it doesn't go far enough to reach working families struggling to put food on the table. Elaine Dunkley, BBC News, in Staley Bridge.